everyone welcome to my youtube channel we've got this lenovo here lenovo tickpad l460 the problem of this laptop it has a blank screen okay it has a blank screen i recently fixed something similar like this before recently check on my video i recently fixed something similar like this but well, let's do it again here is the charger charger connected powered on the laptop is on now the laptop is powered on now you can check on the power supply see it's taking 0 0.5049 milliamp the laptop is on but the screen is blank You see that the laptop is on but the screen is blank i've checked the ram remember this laptop they required low voltage ram i've checked check the ram the ram is okay but still yet we don't have a display on the screen it's totally blank you see as you can see it's blank there's nothing on the screen it's blank so let's try to fix this problem okay let's try to fix this problem there's the board okay let's try to fix this problem you know what we're going to do now we are going to program the bios we are going to program the bios and I hope this one will be quick compared to the last video. The last video was, you know, it was something which I expected to be quick, but it takes so long due to some certain things that occur while doing the video. We're going to take out this chip quickly. the chip is out there's the chip there so what we need to do now let's grab our programmer remember i've got a slow programmer so i have another one but i prefer using this one you see i prefer using this one ch thirty four one. 34 one program okay log in our program and let's see see if sees our chip okay Okay, detect. We've got this. Let's take that one. Then select. You see what I'm going to do? I don't need to back up the files. I don't need to back up the file of this uh, IC. Why? Because I've got plenty of them already. So, what I will do. I'm just gonna put in the new 
file which I want to program, then I will write the new software. Okay. And that file, like I said last on my last video, it is very special file to me because you have to do it. Uh, you have to do the clear, clear me region. Otherwise, the laptop is not gonna work. And I also have a video for that. If you maybe perhaps wondering how can you do the claiming region, you can check my video. How to do a claiming region. Okay, I'm looking for the file where I saved the file. Where is the file? Okay, I think here. Here is the file. This was the original one original file and this is the claiming file okay so erase blank check write and verify program okay so at this point now is busy erasing the chip okay it's busy erasing the chip Although this programmer is a little bit slow, a little bit slow compared to others, it's a bit slow compared to others. Okay, and uh, what's it called? The Lenovo L460, Lenovo ThinkPad L460. They have this common problem, it's very common when it comes to blank screen, no display, you know. As long you've got your RAM, your low voltage RAM. As long, let me switch up. As long you've got your your low voltage RAM, okay, you must make PCL. You must make note of that PCL. PCL. Then you are good to go. If it's not a low voltage RAM, your laptop will not display. You won't have a display if it is not a low voltage drive. So I'll quickly show you just for those other anyone that doesn't know what is a low voltage drive. Whilst we are waiting for the programmer to do his job. Okay, I think it's much better now. My camera. That's it. A low voltage RAM. You see, there's a L PC3L. That's a low voltage RAM. The easy way to identify a low voltage RAM. Okay. Otherwise, if your PC, if the this laptop doesn't have a low voltage RAM, you won't have a display. You won't have a display on the laptop. You're struggling with a display on the laptop. You'll be struggling with a display on the laptop. You'll be struggling with the display on your laptop. I'm just trying to while away time why the why the programmer is still busy. Let's quickly check. Okay, it's busy verifying now. It's busy verifying. The last process, okay. It's doing the last process.
Okay, my time is just quickly clean the trunk quickly. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put back our chip. It's done. Okay. Let's put back the chip now. That's the IC then. So let's wait for the board to cool down. Let's clean. I think uh, that's it. Okay. Okay, I think let's test now. Okay. This is the charger. Let's see. Charger connected. Charger connected. Then powered on. Laptop is on. Let's wait for display. This is a new BIOS file. Okay. We should have a display now. It just restarted. We should have a display. There you go. You see that? So, this laptop, it all has a common problem. When you come across this laptop so what i will do i will leave a link on this video whereby the link that will show you how to do the clear me region of any bios file okay i'll leave a link on this description that you can be able to see how i did a clear me of this file Thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you on the next video okay bye bye